头，有最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。哦哦Good morning. Time for a nice breakfast. Look what I cooked for you today. More fish. Sit. It tastes much better with lemon. Here. I remember she said girls like boys who can cook. Because. It can make girls feel warm and happy. Reminded her of home. Brought her a sense of belonging and security. Don't you agree? Is it that Hunan girl again? Hmm. Kanyo, are you feeling homesick? I think we should go back after Christmas. Just remember, wherever you are, that is where I am meant to be. It's so cold. You need another layer of clothes. I forgot. I was thinking if we can get bigger tomatoes, I could glaze them as a side dish. So pretty. You think so? Of course.
want to be a star around you. I will always be by your side, protecting you. Forever and ever. Hello, Ann. Uh, sir, <coughs> it's cold out here. Please cover yourself. Here's a blanket. Thank you. You're welcome. I brought you an apple, Uncle. Oh. Why, thank you. <laughs> it's especially for you. I appreciate it. When are you coming back, Uncle? <sighs> Maybe next year, Ann. About the same time, I guess. Come on, Anne. Let's go and leave Mr. Chang alone. Let's go. Come now. Bye bye, Uncle. Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Christmas Eve, you're supposed to eat apples so that the person you're hoping to see will appear in front of you safe and sound. I admit, I wasn't the ideal brother to you. Actually, my biggest regret is that I couldn't make you boiled noodles one last time. I know it's your favorite. Zheng Sheng, I left a few things for you. Remember this music scorebook? A few days after we met each other, you asked me what it was, and I told it was a music scorebook. keys. When you tap the keys, you make some sounds. I just want one, please. 
No way. You should practice playing the piano more when you have the time. This is the bone comb. The first combing goes to the end of the hair. The second combing goes right to the end of life. First combing goes to the end of the hair. The second combing goes to the end of life. <laughs> Remember this old candy jar? I still have it, but it's empty now. Zhengsheng, whenever you feel like you miss me, you can just put a piece of candy inside this jar. And when it's already full, maybe I will come back. It seems that you like the peaceful and quiet life here in Water Island, and don't want to leave. I feel like I'm living in a familiar place. After Miss Zhang got married to Tianyo, I always thought you would make a big difference. After all, you have most of the Changs. All of my hard work was aimed towards giving Zhengsheng a better life. And now that she's happy with the life she chose, I can't ask for more. <sighs> Let's go. I've got things to do. All right. I'm back. Had a good trip? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you buy? Huh? Why'd you buy so many apples? Uh, these are for Anne. Oh, but why isn't she here yet? I heard that the owner of the house came to celebrate Christmas. Hmm. Actually, I'm getting curious about the owner. Why don't you go have a look? Maybe she's the most beautiful woman in town. Hey, why do you look so pale? Hmm? 
Is it freezing outside? <laughs> it's not too cold. Put on thicker clothes. Okay, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be going home later. Okay. Come. <laughs> Keep this key. We'll come back here sometime. Let's go. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking that this time I'm gonna open an online flower shop. No, are you serious? If you throw yourself into work day and night, you won't have time for me. <laughs> don't be silly. What? If I don't open a flower shop online and go out to work, then I won't have time to take care of you at home. Oh. <laughs> You're still gonna stay home. Of course I am. Great. <laughs> Grandpa went to Hong Kong for business. Zheng Sheng, if you need anything, just let me know. Oh, nothing, but thank you. Don't mention it. Now, would you excuse me? Hmm. Grandpa still has his pride. He wants you to go to Hong Kong and apologize. Old people can be like babies, and Grandpa is acting like one. <sighs> Ginger, I haven't been in the office for some time. Let's go there tomorrow. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Zhang hey. Shang. Hi, Zhang Shang. You're back. <laughs> How was it? Was it fun? <laughs> Stop fooling around. You're always exaggerating. Admit it. You're jealous. Of course not. Zheng Shang, show him. <laughs> Look at this ring. It's bigger and shinier. Mm -hmm. What now? Mm -hmm. what, what now? I have to go. I have to pick up Yin Zhang. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Oh. <clears throat> I have news for you. <clears throat> Yin Zhang is pregnant. Really? She's pregnant? <laughs> I know everybody had the same reaction. Here you go. <laughs> hey! You came back. You look so happy. What are you talking about? You know, the first time Keisha Ro posted news that Yin Zhang got pregnant in WeChat moments, I commented, really? <laughs> and then he started hurling insults at me. But oh. look, Zheng Sheng had the same reaction. It's just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> just imagine, I'm the only one here. I have to put up with her. Now that you're here, I'm off the hook. <laughs> you tease me every day. So tell me, how are things going on with you and Loverboy? Pretty good. Even if you don't tell me, I know the Chung brothers are all the same. They're always gone when we need them. Especially Chung Tianen. And... What were you saying? Go on, spit it out. Well, well, you see, I heard from a friend that... A few years ago, he asked this friend of mine to go out with him, and my friend was so happy that she thought Chung Tianan had a crush on her. But then it turned out Chung Tianan only asked her out to put on a show for another girl who was obsessed with him. What? You don't believe me? It's true. Because after that, my friend came to me and told me about this in tears. That's enough, Babao. Well, I think Tianan doesn't have confidence in himself. He's afraid he can't make that other girl happy. That's why he did it to my friend. He probably didn't mean anything else. Jin he just... Yeah. 
I'm fine. Leave me alone. Are you all right? The girl who was obsessed with him was Jin Liang. What? You see, the truth was, they had a relationship when they were younger. However, Tianan can't get over his own physical handicap, so he made Jin Liang give up on him. But I think the girl you mentioned made her finally give up. Hmm. So, do you think. He's still in love with Jin Liang? If you ask me... I think Jin Liang realized that. It's too hard to give up someone you love. All these years... Chang Tianan has been struggling... between love and possession... greatness... and selfishness. He's in too much pain. ...that it was hard for us to understand it. <sighs> Why does Jin Liang put up with that? She must be so upset, I can only imagine. But don't worry. She knows what she's doing. That Tianan and I broke up back then. Do you still care about that? I'm just curious. But you told me that it's over between you two. I just want to know if he put on a show to make me upset. 
so that I'd leave him. So, have you decided? Then, do you have plans where to go? I don't know yet. I just want to go out and relax for a while. Maybe do some traveling. Six years ago, the two of us made a pact with wine. After all the ups and downs we went through, she found success. It's due to your work. I think I'll never find another partner who can understand me more than you. Thank you. Thank you too, Tianyu. Since I was young, I liked following your footsteps. Wherever you were, I was always there too. You don't know it, but to me, it was the happiest thing. Wait, do you remember my most favorite poem when I was still in middle school? To the oak tree. I must be a ceiba tree beside you. Be the image of a tree, standing together with you. <sighs> to be honest, working in Chiffon wasn't really my dream. If it weren't for you, I might have left a long time ago. Thank you so much. You've taught me a lot these years, including how to grow up. From now on, I want to live a free life of my own. Where I call the shots.
Would you do me a favor, please? Give me a few days more. If you kick me out, I'll have no place to go. I have no family. Could you just give me more time, please? Your mother was sick back then. So I couldn't ask you to move somewhere else, Xiaojo. However, it's been four months. You haven't paid your rent until now. I know, I know. But ma'am, I'll figure it out. I will pay you in three days. Can you give me three days more, please, ma'am? I just also three days. need money for my own expenses. <sighs> please, Xiaojo. Just move somewhere else, okay? Excuse me, ma'am. But why are you kicking her out all of a sudden? She has nowhere to go. She hasn't paid her rent for four months now. <sighs> all right, then. I will give you three more days. If you can't pay by then, I'm really sorry. But you'll have to move out. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. How about... you move in with me at my place? The landlady's already throwing you out. You haven't paid. I don't think you should be so stubborn and insist on staying here. Would you please mind your own business? I can take care of myself. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna be homeless? Do you wanna be a hobo? Xiaojo, I've worried about you and after all these years of searching for you, I finally found you. When will you just stop pushing me away? Hey, what? Where are you going? Hey! Xiaojo, just come with me. Can you stop following me? Please come with me, Xiaojo. Let's start a new life together. I don't love you, so what new life is that? I know that you didn't mean any of that. I wouldn't come back if I'd known! Don't follow me around anymore. I will never change my mind. Liangshang wants me away from you. Did you know that? Mr. Bay. Why are you here? Tell him to get out. I've underestimated you. You knew that I've been looking for Xiaojo. But all this time... You've been preventing her from seeing me. Yes, Xiao Wu. Your brother didn't do anything wrong. If I had a chance to choose again, I would have done the same thing. Stay away from her. I won't. And we're not brothers anymore. This is the end. We're not brothers anymore.
I talked to Liang Shang. And I hit him in the face. He and I are no longer, but it doesn't matter anymore. As long as you come back to me, as long as we're together, it'll all be worth it in the end. Hmm. Hey, you're up. Where are you going? I'm gonna look for a job. To make some money. But you can count on me for that. Stop it. I can feed myself. I don't need anyone else. Mm. Liang Sheng came back yesterday. Oh, really? Hmm. But he got a bruise on his face. Is he okay? He should be. I heard that he was hurt by your friend, Bei Xiaowu. Hmm. But when I invited him to stay for dinner, he insisted on leaving. I don't know what happened between him and Bei Xiaowu. Uh, sir, why didn't you tell Bei Xiaowu the truth yesterday? It's not you who stopped Xiao Zhao from coming back. You have done so much for them, and still got hit in the face. I saw he looked so agitated. No matter what I say, I'm sure he won't listen. But I will talk to him later. Uncle Chen, do me a favor. Keep an eye on them for me. No problem. I just hope that the time comes... ...that Mei Shawu would realize what you did. You didn't tell me over the phone. But I kind of figured it out. I know Bei Xiaowu would never hurt you. Unless... Unless what? It involved Xiaozhou. He thought... I was keeping them separated. We've known him for so long. Bei Xiaowu... may seem rough on the outside. But deep inside, he's sensible. 
But when it comes to Shaojo, he becomes sensitive. It really gets on his nerves. <sighs> Brother, I'll go talk to Bei Xiaowu to explain everything. No, don't bother. I have nothing to explain. We all know Bei Xiaowu. It will be useless to explain to him. He should figure it out by himself. I wonder if Xiao just doing okay. If she was doing okay, Bei Xiaowu wouldn't have been frustrated and depressed. 